Yeah, uh, uh, just a uh, congrats for the result today. Um, this venue is, is a very historic one. Uh, in 2004, uh, when it was officially opened, uh, Brian Lara made a remark uh, that um, he would like uh, it to become an international venue one day. And then the West Indies becomes the team to play his first uh, ODI here. And, uh, how does that uh, make you feel? Yeah, I guess it's a special feeling. Um, I've, been, I've been here before, obviously. My couple times in Zimbabwe, but more as a practice venue. I don't, don't think we've ever played a game. I, I was wondering if we played a one game here last time, but then I think uh, I, was, I was told that we, we didn't. But yeah, it's a really good ground. I think the big, biggest thing for me is the, the crowd, you know, the people that come out and support. Um, I really enjoy the cricket. To me, that's the, the most pleasing feeling. You know, I love to see people around the ground, and it's a good spectacle for, for the game of cricket. Jason, when somebody as respected as Carl Hooper comes out and says he finds the West Indies situation distressing and that you know there could be a new, or he's hoping there's no new low, is that a is that a motivating thing, or I'm sure stronger things are said behind closed doors in the dressing room? But how does that land with the players? Well, it's the first time I'm hearing it. To be honest. Um, look, man, people will have their opinions, man. I think they're entitled to their opinions, and you know we've just got a job to do. Uh, I don't think we need to make it any harder for ourselves by taking on any outside pressure from. He's the assistant and, coach. <coughs> oh, <laughs> fair enough. I mean, at the end of the day, the, the thing is for us just to stay focused on what we need to do. You know, we've come here to qualify, and that's all we need to do. And just this morning with the conditions, I know you weren't actually on the park uh, early on, but um, how, do, how do you assess those conditions with the early start? Yeah, it's tough, man. Um, obviously, there's a lot of moisture in the week early up, and I think if you're batting first, you just need to be a little bit more watchful. Um, you know, there, there's a bit of spongy bumps in it, and then there's obviously a little bit of a seam movement, as, well, seam movement uh, as well. So. I think if you're batting first, you just got to be a little bit more circumspect, give yourself a really good chance and bat deep. Good. And um, obviously, this is, uh, let's say, like this, the second go around. You've kind of been here before, uh, same country, uh, you know, just playing here in, the, here in Zimbabwe. Um, so, uh, did your experiences from the, the last tournament, how much of that did you carry with you uh, coming into this tournament? And uh, how, much is, how much is that, how much does that help you in your preparations? Look, it's good to, to be familiar with the conditions. I think that's the, the only thing I can really take. I think the last four cup qualifiers is gone. Um, you know, it's, it was good back then, but you know, I think the most important thing is to understand the conditions that we're playing in. You know, I've played here before, I've played at Harare Sports Club, played in Bulaway, so I think I've got that experience to you know how these conditions play, so I think that's the most important thing I could take from the last tournament to this one. Anything further?